us to another episode on SOG 12 exams. So in this episode, we continue looking at the 2021 Internal Science Paper 2. So we are now concluding section C of this paper. So this is the last video of many videos that we've done on this paper. So please check out for the videos on our YouTube channel. Remember your success at grade 12 depends on your extensive revision. It is always important that you go through all the papers covering the last four years. So understand each and every question clearly. And we've done all the papers covering these years. Just check out for the videos on our YouTube channel. Question C3 leads start the following series of reactions for ethene. So we have all these reactions. Then our question A is asking us to identify gas A, gas B, gas C, condition D, liquid E, then liquid F. So uh, for us to identify these, we need to uh, go through each and every reaction that we've been given. So let me just zoom in so that we're able to follow me uh, clearly. Then uh, once we identify these uh, gases, we can come back and answer the questions regarding to question A. So let us start with A. So ethane, we add gas A to give us ethane. So normally what happens, alkenes undergoes addition reaction with hydrogen in the presence of a catalyst called as nickel. So once that happens, they form alkanes. So this uh, gas A should be basically hydrogen uh, given by this uh, equation. So we have um, ethane, then we react it with hydrogen uh, gas. Then uh, we end up with uh, basically an alkan, which is uh, ethane. So basically, this is uh, the reaction. So we know that A is uh, hydrogen. Then uh, let us identify what uh, B is. So ethane is reacted with uh, basically excess of oxygen. Then it uh, ignites. So we are burning ethane. Then we get gas B and uh, the steam. So as the property of all our kings, they burn in plenty of oxygen, which you will see here, excess oxygen, to form carbon dioxide and water. So in this case, we have the equation, which will be C2H4, which is a gas. Then we burn it in excess oxygen gas then we are going to end up with a basically carbon dioxide gas then plus steam which is basically a water and this water will be in the gas form so in this case we know that uh, gas b is basically a carbon dioxide so this is b then we got to see add gas c and condition d to give us chloroethan. So if you are getting chloroethan, basically what is happening in this case, uh, this gas C should be basically a chlorine. We know that a chloroethan means uh, basically we have chlorine in one of the bond. So C must be chlorine. Then uh, what is condition D? Condition D is basically uh, the required condition, which is in this case a sunlight. So a sunlight is basically needed to produce energy to basically break chlorine bond, which need to uh, replace the hydrogen bond in ethane for last to form the chloroethane. So basically, that is uh, the condition which is needed. Then we can move to E. So E, we are reacting ethane with a steam to get liquid E. So again, what you notice in this case, all our kings react with steam in the presence of a phosphoric acid as a catalyst to produce alcohols. 
So what is going to happen in this case? We are going to have C to H4, which is ethene. This is a gas. We react it with a base garden, the steam, under presence of a phosphoric acid, which is gas. Then we are going to get basically an alcohol. So we know that liquid E is basically ethan. That's C or E. We go to F. So we are adding the solution of bromine, which is uh, bromine water. Then we get a uh, liquid F. So again, what is happening in this case is C2, then H4. This is a gas. So this is a process known as a uh, bromination. So we add bromine gas. Then we are going to get a base cadmium di bromine ethan so it will be this this is two so this will be two and this will be a liquid so f is basically if i to be specific to be one two di bro ethan as the product so basically these are the reaction that are happening so now we can go back and answer question a so gas A, so gas A, we know that I've already done this. Gas A is basically hydrogen. So A is hydrogen. Then a gas B. So a gas B is this is basically carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide. Then a gas C. So gas C is basically this is chlorine. So condition D. So condition D, remember we've already looked at it, so it's basically sunlight which is needed to break the chlorine bond. So this is a sunlight. Then liquid E. So liquid D, remember we already found this one, which is formed when you react a ethene with steam, it will form an alcohol. So basically this is a ethan. So liquid F. So liquid F, we already also found this one. So liquid F is basically we are adding bromine water to ethene to get liquid F. So uh, this is going to give us a base card by this reaction or equation. So we get a base card in dibromoethane. So to be specific, we add one, two. So because we are the bonding of the bromine is going to happen so the longest chain is going to happen at the first one and also the reverse to also be in the same position so that's why we are putting one two so for more details about this check our video on how to identify uh, this question b write balanced chemical equation for the reaction of ethene with excess oxygen so remember we've already done uh, this equation so it's just a matter of balancing it so let us go to uh, where we did all the calculations so what you notice in this case is this equation so let us uh, balance this equation so what we need to do in this case is we have a basically one carbon this side then this side we have two carbons so the first thing that let us try to balance the carbon so how can we balance this we introduce a basically two here then we have two carbon two carbon this side so the carbons are balanced then in terms of hydrogen we have basically four hydrogen this side this side we have two so how can we balance it we can introduce a, a two here then we are going to have four hydrogen this side and four hydrogen this side so hydrogen is balanced then we look at oxygen so in terms of oxygen here we have a two this side we have four plus two which is six so six this side so this side we have six in oxygen so how can you balance here here we introduce a three then we are going to have a three three then the equation is balanced so basically once we do that then you see a quicker where then we can just proceed and light uh, this equation so we know that uh, basically this is B. So for B, we've already found the equation to be a basically a C2H a form gas 
then plus a three oxygen two then gas then this is going to give us a basically two carbon dioxide which is a gas then plus a two water then as a gas so this is the balanced equation then I see give the structural formula of liquid E so what is liquid E so a liquid E is basically a ethan so liquid E is basically ethan so what we need to do is want to give this structural equation so how is ethan formed so what we did is basically in case we are asked to uh, give the structural equation so we are this then that then uh, this is ethane which we reacted with uh, basically water so uh, this gave us ethane so this double bond is going to be broken then once it's broken then we form this so one of this hydrogen is going to take up here then uh, the other hydroxyl is what is going to uh, be here to give us this uh, so this is the structural uh, formula so this bond is going to be broken this hydrogen one takes up this bond which is this one hydrogen then this is uh, going to take up this one so basically this is the structural formula Jim state the industrial application of the reaction of ethane with gas A to form ethane. So remember we talked about this area. So this is the process known as basically hydrogenation. So during the process of hydrogenation, hydrogen is basically added to an alkene molecule to form alkane molecule. So once that is done, uh, basically what happens in uh, this process, we write C, a bigger molecule is formed. So this process hydrogenation is used in margarine. I think we know margarine manufacturing a process to uh, change the unsaturated remember our kings are unsaturated unsaturated vegetable oils into solid products solid products known as a uh, margarine so this is uh, the industrial use so basically, this is how you answer this question to get at the optimal max. So thank you for joining me on this episode where I've concluded the 2021 Internal Science Paper 2. So please take time, make sure that you go through all the papers. Once you revise the last four years exams, you are prepared for success.